Hello and welcome back to You Speaks and also to My Cancer Podcast. This is Uday Sistla. Before we go into the episode, don't forget to subscribe to You Speaks. What is that one thing that affects most lives? What is that one psychological factor that is more dangerous than most diseases? Fear. Yes. fear affected many lives and still is responsible for stopping people from growing i too grew up with so many fears they might be psychological social religious or something else i have to overcome so many fears from childhood for instance by nature i am an introvert talking to others making new friends was always difficult for me but it never stopped me from trying it took time but in the end I never stop to finally go and talk. I am always afraid of fever, cold and mostly stomach pain. But all of a sudden, to be diagnosed with cancer, I was scared to hell. Cancer and fear do like each other's company. If you are afraid of having cancer, half the battle is lost there. You can't win wars with fear. You win them with belief, self-belief. Having self-belief help me a lot throughout the whole journey the day i was sitting in the hospital seeing the biopsy reports i knew i have a bigger battle than i thought in cancer sometimes you should have luck on your side you cannot predict what type you will get or most importantly what stage you will be diagnosed those are not in your hands but what is really in your hands is the belief to fight The word cancer can scare you. It demoralizes you. It will drop your spirits. My initial feelings were the same. I am scared of needles. I am scared of being hospitalized. But that's what I have to do for a long time. I have to convince myself. I have to believe in myself. I can do it. I can win the battle and I can come out of it successfully. I guess most of you guys are familiar with Avengers Endgame. I am a huge fan. But because of its popularity, I will use a phrase from it. Whatever it takes. The film didn't release then, but still that became a mantra for me. I said to myself that it will be my mantra till I win. No matter what it takes, I will give my best to win. If you are afraid, you can't follow that. Despite the advancements in the treatment and extended survival rates, cancer still carries a fear of stigma. The stress of cancer diagnosis and related treatment requires many personal and interpersonal changes. For example, during the treatment phase, there may be a redistribution of tasks within your family. That's what happened to me. When I have to stay in the hospital, my father was there looking out for me. others have to take care of the house when i am at home my sister mostly took care of me and others took care of the rest there also may be a fear of significant changes in your relationships with friends and relatives now that you have been diagnosed with cancer people you know may respond differently they may negatively stereotype you as cancer victim or believe that your cancer is an automatic death sentence But luckily it never happened to me. I was not so called cancer zone. Everyone I knew or know me was so kind and supportive that this fear never came to me. But many still are facing this or afraid of this. That is where our loved ones play a crucial part. Returning to work also may create various stresses. There may be a difference in the way co-workers treat a person who has been absent even briefly due to cancer. They may avoid you or isolate you. Also, due to lack of understanding, ignorance or fear about cancer, many individuals with a cancer history experience some form of employment discrimination such as dismissals, demotions or failure to get a promotion or even to get a new job. Even though I am not in that situation yet, I feel this is also something many people face or there are many people like me who are scared that they might face. Fighting with cancer is one task and fighting with your own fears 
is another when you know how to fight your own fear then the disease looks small to you and you'll have the confidence to win the battle thank you guys for being patient and listening to the podcast i hope it will help at least a few i'll continue my journey in the next episode if you like the podcast do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to you speaks